Triangle Strategy was one of my favorite games released back in 2022 on the Nintendo Switch, and now it's back in a whole different type of way with the Meta Quest 3S. This is a virtual reality headset that's all in one where you can take this really long, cool strategy RPG and put it right there, right in the action in a variety of ways. Now, I'm not advanced or really knowledgeable when it comes to the world of virtual reality. This was actually my first time really playing a strategy RPG or a game like this with the headset. But what I realized is that it actually offers some really cool, unique perspectives on a classic to me, a modern classic back in 2022, when I feel that anybody that does have a headset should check it out or at least try it out once. Because I will say there was a few times where I actually said like, whoa, like really out loud because they did some really interesting things with this. So we're gonna talk about the new perspective that Triangle Strategy gives you with this headset in addition to the game itself for those that are newcomers and wanna know a little bit more about it. So my first impressions, you can do a lot of cool and unique things with Triangle Strategy and the headset. So the first thing that I thought was pretty cool is that once you actually go into the game, it's almost like a board. It's a board right there, like a board game almost. And you can position it and you can kind of move it any way that you want when it comes to the battlefield. And you can have it also be like an augmented reality thing where it removes the background in the game and actually makes it your own background that you have in your room. So it's almost like that board is right there in front of you and you're grabbing the pieces and putting it in different spots. So if you wanna play with more of a in your AR world type of thing or actually having it like in that virtual reality in that world you can play it both ways which i thought was pretty cool and the first time like i said when i first saw that i was like whoa that's pretty cool now you combine that with the different ways that you can play by picking up and moving the pieces kind of where you go it actually creates a really unique vibe and different type of experience that obviously you're not going to get with triangle strategy in any other type of way now let's get to the actual gameplay because that's what makes triangle strategy great in addition to the story all of the things that you would expect the game to have it's the full exact game with a few little tweaks here and there at the beginning in terms of how they ease you into the gameplay and of course the tutorials to tell you how you use different things but the full story overall of triangle strategy is all there empires battling over different resources and all of the decisions and cool things that are in triangle strategy are here at this point and it's all told to you within that headset with great audio and everything so i was actually kind of surprised i thought maybe they would kind of take certain things and streamline it maybe a bit more because it's a headset but no it's the full story the full voice acting everything is all there like i said with a few tweaks here and there but let's talk about the most important thing when it comes to anything whether it's going to be a regular video game or even virtual reality at this point when it comes to a headset and that is the gameplay and the gameplay thankfully here is retained in a certain way that not only feels great to play but it's actually really fun as well in short bursts but let's break down exactly what makes triangle strategy great and that is the gameplay and that's what i love about triangle strategy back in 2022 and now i still love it here as well you have sarah noah you have all of your crew when it comes to house wolfert and more and you are essentially going on this quest that starts off with you marrying someone else from a different nation in order to better the relationship but then spirals into a whole war epic that has you leading and commanding armies making crucial decisions at certain points and going all over the land learning about new people learning about their plights getting new characters on your team and so much more but the gameplay is what makes the game fun and actually playing in this new perspective where you're rotating and you're seeing the different battlefield and how everything kind of lays out is really interesting and fun and it still has all the fun gameplay aspects that you know of i love the different combat options that you have not 
it's not the most in-depth strategy RPG. So if you're used to some of the other ones out there, maybe this one won't have as many options, but it still has a bunch of cool things that are fun, like the pincer attacks. And of course, the area of effect attacks with magic. I love that overall when it comes to Frederica. There's many different things that Triangle Strategy offers as a great strategy RPG that make it a ton of fun. I think that the HD 2D art style fits perfectly overall with the virtual reality right there for you in the headset. I think it looks incredible and once again provides a different type of experience for those that are looking for something just a bit different with virtual reality headsets. And once again, I have never been a big virtual reality person. I just don't play the games too much. But when you put one of my favorite games of all time in it, I think that it does offer something just a bit unique and cool to add to the mix. And you're going to get, like I said, the full game. You have the decisions in there. And basically, every decision that you make in the game is going to go towards one type of of mantra that you have that does affect the game overall so your decisions are very crucial you're going to have the certain parts where you have to convince team members to think one way or another or make crucial decisions that are going to actually shape what happens in the game and the final ending so all of that is retained with that beautiful flair and combat now another thing that i love about this game is the music the combat themes are fantastic and it seems like they get better and better as the stakes get higher and higher and one of the things at the beginning of the game yeah it's the nice first part it's kind of an easy laid back tone but it does get more menacing than menacing as you go along so i really love what triangle strategy offers overall as a game and like i said with this new perspective and playing it kind of just got me to think wow like there's actually more they can probably do with other rpgs once again in more short bursts to play overall and another thing that I thought that was pretty cool is that the actual reality of taking the person that you're trying to use and moving them over and kind of having some of that force feedback. Like I said, it feels like you're placing chess pieces, like you're playing like an actual strategy board game right there. As somebody who's not experienced with VR headsets or anything like that. Now, one more thing that I kind of want to hit on at the end here is just how much fun I think Triangle Strategy as you continue playing goes on. Like the game has a lot of moments to where you really feel some type of tension overall and and I felt like those memories kind of coming back to me as I was playing. And you kind of see what's going on at the very beginning, even when you're ambushed and you have to defend your new wife who doesn't know that that's you, that she's married, at least at first. But you feel that tension of certain characters and it kind of all came rushing back to me. But like I said, the gameplay is just so fun and smooth. And it's really fun and just as smooth even playing in a headset here and going through all of it. I really loved how you can actually like grab and move the board physically i thought that was pretty cool like if you're trying to get a little bit of a different angle or perspective while you're battling you can do that right there in real time you can reset it back to how it was and like i said it just provides a little bit of a different experience for someone who has a headset or if you're looking into getting one i think that triangle strategy is not a bad option at all when it comes to what triangle strategy does and how it plays within the meta quest 3s so overall my time with the meta quest 3s was actually pretty interesting and a lot more fun than i initially thought that it could be as someone that doesn't have a lot of experience with this type of headset so if you have one and you're into rpgs you might want to check out triangle strategy on this system but that's gonna wrap it up for this video here guys thank you so much for watching i do appreciate it please make sure you hit that like button subscribe if you're someone new click that notification bell thanks for watching and we'll catch you guys for the next one peace